Professor McKenzie, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. If I may, I'd like to start off with your early life. I wonder if you might tell us what was your earliest ambition? I've always wanted to be invisible. Uh, I see. You've had an immensely successful career in geophysics. I wonder, were you always good at physics and maths at school? Absolutely brilliant. Of course. And uh, what about art and home economics? I was absolutely hopeless. Bottom of the class, couldn't do anything, was getting nowhere at all. Did you have any other problems at school? Essentially until puberty. I had this dreadful Yorkshire accent. That indeed sounds unfortunate. Um, you've spent your career in Cambridge University. Um, I wonder how did you get into Cambridge in the first place? I believe you were and are currently at King's. But how I came to King's was quite interesting because before that I went to a girls' school in Aylesbury and was a proper mm. girls' high school. I applied actually to come to Newnham right, to, to, to read English. You know, Newnham was for, for young ladies and not for, not for people mm. from the North Country. <laughs> I've always been completely amazed at this. I don't think that would happen nowadays. As an undergraduate, you led a famously lavish lifestyle. Were you ever short of money? Uh, my parents were terribly concerned because I spent several billion dollars, probably between five and ten billion dollars. Mm. So they just, you know, gave me some money. You've enjoyed tremendous success during your career. How, I wonder, have you achieved this? And the, the undercurrent of my life has been the exploitation of the undergraduates. Mm. I mean, Einstein did exactly that. Graduate students knew nothing in those days. Graduate students now are more servants, largely, I think, because of James Jackson. Tell us something about the kind of people you've enjoyed working with. I've always found it extremely easy to work with people who are done up and prettified and made into, you know, uh, James Jackson. Unfortunately, things for you haven't always gone so well, have they? Have there been any bumps along the way? The worst experience was with Greece. Uh, and I remember very well Keith Priestley, because I don't expect, you know, to have my boots slicked. He licked your boots, you say. That does sound rather out of character. How did you react? Well, this was war. I got very fed up with Cambridge by this stage. And I suddenly discovered, whenever I sort of prod people, for instance, the only thing that stops me is my fingers. A slightly more specific question here. Many new lecturers find keeping order in practicals difficult. Do you have any advice for them? You control demonstrators by shooting water at them. You knock them flat. And as I've become grander, it's become actually easier. In recognition of your achievements, you were recently made a member of the Order of Companions of Honour by the Queen. How did you find the royal family? Absolutely hopeless. Nasty little Nazis. Finally, on a more personal note, I'm considering applying for a junior position at McDonald's. How do you rate my career prospects? You will have a wonderful career. Professor McKenzie, thank you very much.